Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has urged his counterpart from Netherlands to ensure that Dutch companies do not provide weapons or technology to Pakistan, given its history of sponsoring terror, as well as proliferation of technology. Mazagin Dock shipbuilders held the plate-cutting ceremony for the first air-independent propulsion system plug for Scorpion-class submarines of the Indian Navy, which will be subsequently integrated in all six Scorpion submarines during their scheduled normal refits. Indian Army's T-72 main battle tank has been spotted with significant defensive enhancements, that includes cage armor, ball and chain protection around the turret and rear, and additional armor tiles over the engine block. The RDO's Defense Laboratory Jodhpur is spearheading an innovative project to design and develop a multi-layer special coating system for airborne surfaces, that is designed to withstand the extreme conditions encountered by fighter jets and UAVs. Hindustan Aeronautics Nashik plant will roll out the first Tejas Mark 1A from its newly established third production line by end of April 2025, slightly delayed from the originally anticipated timeline of March 2025. China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation has successfully completed the second test flight of its highly anticipated J-36 next-generation stealth fighter jet. Indian Navy's stealth-guided missile destroyer INS Imphal has been sighted bearing four kill markings on its super-rapid gun mount, three for surface targets and one for an aerial target. Japan is planning to offer its Awaji-class minesweeper vessels to Indian Navy. The Indian Army has signed a 197 crore rupees contract with Ursok Leyland, for the supply of 500 prefabricated short chassis buses. Indian Navy has started the 23rd edition of Varuna Joint Naval Exercise with the French Navy from today. Amid the ongoing delays in the supply of F-404 engines for the Tejas Mark 1A program, a senior official from Hindustan Aeronautics has clarified that the company has no plans to replace the current American F-404 engine with alternative options. HAL is not exploring other engine options like the EJ-200 or Safran M88 engine even on the older Tejas airframes as it would require structural adjustments to airframe and engine bay, recalibration of weight distribution, extensive re-engineering and testing, significant redesign and recertification efforts, and supply chain and logistics implications, which could push timelines back by several years. HAL and the Indian Air Force are both banking on General Electric's assurances that the F-404 delivery will start this month and its supply chain will stabilize by 2026. The DRDO had recently unveiled the BM-04 new hypersonic canister launched short-range ballistic missile, that is officially stated to have a range of 1,500 kilometers. The China-centric BM-04 incorporates a third-stage hypersonic glide vehicle, and analysts have suggested that the DRDO may have understated the missile's range, and that the BM-04 could achieve ranges of 2,500 to 3,000 km in real-world conditions, that would allow the missile to target key enemy targets across a broader geographical area, providing greater flexibility in operational planning. The director of the gas turbine research establishment has said that the development of 120 kN advanced stealth engine for AMCA program would necessitate an investment of around $4.5 billion. He also said that a significant portion of the budget will be allocated to R&D, including the design and prototyping phases, establishing production capabilities, including advanced manufacturing techniques like additive manufacturing for complex parts and setting up test facilities for full-scale engine trials. The cost also covers the integration of the engine with the AMC airframe, flight testing, and obtaining certifications necessary for operational deployment. Today's Top 3 Comments